Hello, hobby friends. Let's talk about Harlequins. I have an issue with the Harlequins. I like the way they play and I like their lore, but I'm not mad about how they look. So, this is my solution to that the Dethedi Death Clowns. Let's get the less interesting bit out of the way, keep the riders separate from the bikes and the heads and decorative masks separate from everything else too. Base the heads and masks in Molotow petrol, or any very very blue-grey colour that you have, and then give those bad boys a zenithal highlight with white ink. And that's basically those bits done. Now to the main event, we're going to get a nice black base coat on the bikes, and over that we will airbrush some Vallejo metal colour Duraluminium. As always, the paints themselves don't necessarily matter, it's the effect that you're going for, but metal colours are the best metallics out there, so you really want to get some. Think of this as your zenithal prime. We're only going to very lightly dust the bottoms, and then we're going to try and shade some of the volumes over the top. This will help sell the scale of the model, even with this extreme real-world true metallic metal effect. One of the issues for me with certain effects and techniques like gloss finishes, true metallic metal paints, and some of the colour shifting paints, is that they interact with real light at their actual small scale, which spoils the illusion. With shading and other techniques, you can trick the eye into thinking the object is behaving like something that's actually much, much bigger. Okay, everyone including the riders are all shaded up. Here come the colours. Turquoise Deep, Quinacridone Magenta, and not this yellow. I ended up swapping back to Vallejo's yellow ink because it's a little bit warmer, which suited my needs better. We're going to spray those on as thinly as possible, building up the layers slowly but surely. As you apply each colour, make sure you let them interact and layer on top of each other. Basic colour theory says we should be able to get six main hues for the price of three here, so find your green, red and blue in amongst the cyan, magenta and yellow. While you've got those colours out and in the airbrush, if any of your elves have a rad mohawk or the 41st millennium's favourite hairdo, the top knot, give those locks a quick spritz as well. And guess what? You're basically done. That's the effect. You can pull out some definition by using black ink on some of the riders' details like gloves, boots and the bodysuits they seem to be wearing under their clothes. And also give the flip belts a lick of silver and of course paint the gems. I also do the shoulder and knee pads and the squares on the bike fins in alternating black and white and you know you can keep on going with the detail here if you like. But the thrust of this project is speed for me so I kept it to a bare minimum. And that's it, the Dethedi Harlequins. But why stop there? There are characters too who offer a chance to explore more limited palettes, and I think this technique could definitely be used with different colours. So get out there, grab yourself some transparent inks and get playing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you like my work you can find a link to my Instagram in the description below.